Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at drum care. I've been getting some questions from some of my patrons as to how to take care of your drums to maintain the natural heads. Also, what to do about tuning or detuning when you're not using, how to clean the heads, how to just basically take care of your hand drums. So that's what we're going to cover in this lesson. World Drum Club. All right, so let's look at a popular drum, the bongos. This is my set of Tycoon bongos. And of course, you're gonna use the, where is it? Here, the tuning wrench that came with your bongos. If you didn't get a tuning wrench or you don't have a tuning wrench, get an open-ended box wrench like this one. Never tune your bongos or any of your drums with pliers. Never use pliers. They're just gonna mar the uh, lug nuts and uh, you will not be happy and neither will your drum. So you can use your, your wrench to detune the drum um, when you're not playing it. Now let's check the pitch of these. So these are what I would call high, medium high, not super tight. So I could probably leave these, they'd be okay. But if you wanted to relax the head, if you're not gonna be playing it for a while, or you wanted to crank it up for, for performance and then just bring it back down a little bit, that would be a good idea. Of course, the more uh, tension you have on the head for the longer period of time, uh, the more likely the head is to break, especially if the temperature or humidity changes. So for drums like bongos, for the macho head, the high head, you want to probably detune that a bit. So let's say you were wanting to tune your drum up for a gig, get it nice and bright, but then you wanted to relax that head in between gigs or just for practicing. So you could do that, just flip the drum over, use your open-ended tuning wrench, your box wrench, and from your perspective looking down, you're gonna tune, you're gonna detune it an equal amount working your way around the drum. And of course, if you're looking down like this, then you're gonna be turning the lug nut counterclockwise vice versa for tuning it up. So that's a good practice and that would apply to congas and djembe. For the djembe, of course, you're gonna take maybe one or two or three of the knots out. So uh, you can look up how to tune a djembe, how to detune a djembe is just undoing some of the diamond knots. It's fairly easy. Um, just make sure that after you detune any of these drums, you want to just give it a little tap in the center with a kind of flat palm to seat the head. That's going to take the slack out, loosen up the head, and um, have it sounding good. Uh, but it's going to loosen the head fully because when you when you detune the lugs, the head may not move. It might be kind of tight on the rim, on the bearing edge. So giving it a little tap, gentle tap, just like that, would help it seat and uh, then you can leave your drum for a period of time. So use your box wrench to tune and detune your drums. This one that came with uh, these bongos is a 13 and 14. The 13 is for the bongos, the 14 millimeter is for the congas. Some congas use 13 millimeter as well or half inch. 13 millimeter and half inch are about the same. So you could get a half inch wrench uh, and that should work on most mass produced uh, congas and bongos. All right, let's talk about head care and maintenance. So if you've been playing your drums or if other people have been playing your drums or if you have a classroom full of little sweaty hands <laughs> playing the drums day after day, you'll wanna do some basic maintenance. You know, you don't have to keep your drum heads sparkling clean. Um, they won't necessarily sound better unless they're super gunky. So if they're super gunky, uh, you can take a, a soft towel rag and just get a little bit of moisture on that, just not wet, but just a little, you know, wring it out, damp rag and just gently clean the heads and that'll clean any uh, gunk on there off. Do not use any kinds of cleaners or solvents or sprays or anything like that on your conga drums. 
If you use an ammonia-based uh, spray on your drums, it could really dry out the heads. It could fade and damage the finish or cloud the finish. So really keep all those things away from your drums. Just a little bit of water uh, on a rag will be fine. If your drums are especially gunky, you can take some hand lotion and rub it onto the heads and leave it overnight uh, or for a few hours and that will soften everything up and then you can clean the heads the next day just with a gentle, you know, soft rag. And that should do it. Uh, you don't necessarily need to clean djembe heads like that. Djembe heads are very thin and we don't want to put excess moisture on them. Uh, you can wipe them down, like I said, if they get super gunky, but you really don't need to do that with most of these drums. It's not going to change the sound that much. It's just a, you know, something you're doing for the appearance. Now for maintenance for longer term, somebody did ask, should I condition the head? Should I put lotion on the heads? And yes, you can do that. Uh, it kind of depends on if you have oily or sweaty, you know, kind of sweaty palms. Um, some players have just kind of more sweaty palms than others. Those heads are probably going to get more moisture into them. If you have dry hands, dry skin, like some of my friends who are players do, they would want to add moisture to the heads because the heads are kind of uh, drawing moisture out of their hands. <laughs> so you want to keep your heads more moist and, and conditioned. So you can do that with some hand lotion. Uh, I had one teacher, Jerry Steinholtz, that always used to recommend lotions with lanolin. Lanolin is a natural oil. It comes from uh, sheep's wool, I believe. Uh, but any kind of lotion with lanolin would probably be a good bet. It's got natural oils in it. Uh, remember, these are natural skins, so that makes sense. And what you would do in that case is just get a little bit of lotion, maybe put it on your hand, uh, and then wipe it onto the drums. You could leave it for a period of time, a few hours or overnight, and then wipe any excess, excess off the next day um, with a little rag, like I talked about with cleaning all the gunk off. So that's a kind of uh, get two birds with one stone sort of thing. If you condition your heads once in a while, I wouldn't do this a lot. Um, the heads don't need a ton of you know lotion on them, and they could end up getting more gunky if you put a lot of lotion, especially on a djembe head, which is usually on the drier side. So you don't want to get the heads too um, uh, soaked with any kind of extra oils. You just want to maintain their original state, but we don't want to load them down with oil uh, or you know any kind of moisturizers because it could make the heads too soft and too stretchy and they might break or they might just not get that really high crisp sound that you're looking for. All right, for cleaning the shells and the hardware, again, just a damp rag. Um, if they're super gunky, you could use something like uh, maybe a little WD-40 carefully on the hardware, uh, but do not get any on the skins. Uh, it's not gonna hurt the hardware to use a little bit like a WD-40 on a rag. Put it on a rag first and then carefully go around. If you really have like little gunky stuff or rust uh, that's built up, but really be careful about that and then make sure you clean it off, clean the drums really well after that so you don't have any oily residue on your drums. Uh, for the shells, for the finish, just as you know, little as possible. I wouldn't put any cleaners on them, like I mentioned before. Definitely not on the heads. Now, as far as uh, sanitizing your heads, I've had some, especially music teachers, ask questions about how to sanitize your heads. You could use a sanitizing um, spray or some sort of lotion on the heads. Some people say we shouldn't use hand sanitizer on the drum heads. Um, I'm not sure why people believe that it's going to damage the heads or something. I don't, I don't see why because we use hand sanitizer on our hands and our hands are covered with skin and the drum heads are made of skin. So I don't see why it would hurt the drums if it doesn't hurt your hands. Um, if you do use any kind of sanitizer, just, just remember that you want to basically wipe them down after that, use it, but then I would go over it with a damp rag or cloth just so you're not leaving any residue on there just like you would probably as soon as you could 
Uh, if you didn't have a way to wash your hands, use uh, hand sanitizer, but then you'd probably want to wash your hands later so you don't have hand sanitizer build up on your hands. All right, so we've covered detuning. You're gonna detune your drum a little bit. I would say if your performance level is, you know, if, if that's 100%, maybe detune down to 80% or just a little bit lower. Make sure you seat the head by giving it a tap in the center. This applies to all three drums, congas, bongos, and djembe. We talked about uh, maintaining the head with a little bit of lotion with lanolin. Uh, we talked about cleaning the head with a damp rag, and this goes for the drum too. You can wipe down your whole drum just with a, a damp rag. Uh, we talked about cleaning especially gunky drums or, or shells. If the whole drum is really gunky, you could uh, put a little lotion on there and soften up all that gunk and then wipe it off after a few hours or the next morning after the evening uh, if you leave it on overnight. Uh, we talked about using maybe a little bit of WD-40 on a rag and carefully cleaning the hardware. And it's a good idea to um, periodically take the hardware, take the nuts off of the drum, put a little grease or some sort of thicker oil on the nut and put it back on just so everything is lubricated. Remember this is mechanical tuning. So when you're, when you're tuning, if you're getting squeaky sounds and it's just kind of hard, get some grease in there, put some heavy oil or better yet, get some grease. Um, a lot of the times when you buy drums, it comes with what they call lug lube, which is really a little bit of what I think might be Vaseline, uh, but you really wanna use grease if you can or heavy oil would be the best. And then for the shells, lastly, if you have drums and it seems like the shells are getting very dry, and this would apply to all three of these drums, you could, again, carefully, not getting any on the head, you want to um, take a rag, maybe get some lemon oil, and you could use some lemon oil and just apply that to the wood portions on the inside. Of course, the outside of your drum is probably finished, so oil is not gonna do any good from the outside. But from the inside, a lot of the drums do have a natural finish, meaning there's no uh, finish or oil or varathane or anything on the inside of the drum. So you could, if your drum seems to be especially dry, if you're getting little hairline cracks in the drum, you might wanna put some lemon oil. There's other kinds of oils that are for wood. I'm not an expert in that, but I think things like linseed oil, possibly, or you know, other kinds of oils or waxes that are made for wood. So you can do your own research on that, but that's, a, that's an option, especially for natural, um, drums made with natural materials. Okay, so I hope this helps answer all of your questions about drum care and maintenance. If you like that, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and enjoy all the other hundreds of videos we have here at the World Drum Club YouTube channel. If you want to invest in your own education and take it to the next level, join us at patreon.com. You'll get access to me, also other videos and a bunch of downloads that you can't get here on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a World Drum Club supporter.